हेलो एवरीबॉडी सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर रिगार्डिंग द फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दीस थ्री पॉइंट्स लाइक सस्पेंडिंग एजेंट्स इमल्सिफाइंग एजेंट्स एंड सरफेक्टेंट्स यूज्ड फॉर वेरियस फॉर्मूलेशंस and uh, i will also discuss in this lecture uh, different examples of the suspending emulsifying uh, suspending agent emulsifying agents and surfactants uh, and uh, what are their uses in different formulations so we will start uh, one by one uh, discussion so first is the suspending agent so this suspending agent also uh, called as thickening agent uh, and are used to stabilize suspension and hydrophilic colloid that is substance that sub spontaneously from colloidal dispersion with water because of an affinity between the dispersion particle and dispersed particle so everybody may be aware about the suspending agent uh, the suspending agent is used to make the uh, make, make the suspension and in our suspension the particles are suspended in the uh, suspended in the liquid for, uh, liquid or we can say that water so uh, these suspending agents help in lowering the sedimentation rate of the particle in the suspension if the particle suspend suspended uh, particle sedimentation rate is high so the chances of the cake formation is more as well as these uh, uh, drug particle retain uh, uh, as earlier or rapidly to the uh, to the surface of that particular container so the sedimentation rate is slowed down by increasing the viscosity of the liquid vehicle and slowing down setting in accordance to the stokes law okay so they usually prevent caking at the base of the suspension also it could be resuspended by agitation so this is the main uh, application of the suspending agent why we are using the suspending agent for making the formulation because the suspending agents are very uh, uh, very much required uh, uh, required to uh, enhance the viscosity or as well as the uh, increase the sedimentation rate of the particle so it is the majority use uh, used an excipient to have active pharmaceutical ingredient stay suspended in the formulations so some examples of the suspending agents are bentonite carbomers tragacanth kaolin and carboxymethyl cellulose and uh, sodium so these are the some examples of the suspending agent used for making the suspension so if we categorize the suspending agent uh, or we can uh, says that the types of the suspending agent like we are divided into main three categories that is poly uh, saccharides inorganic salts synthetic compounds in case of uh, polysaccharides uh, Uh, are the uh, are used in the official suspending agent where natural polysaccharides but nowadays semi synthetic compounds are increasingly used increasingly used following are the some examples of these polysaccharide suspending agents like acacia tragacanth starch alginates xanthine gums uh, these are the some examples of the polysaccharide so we will discuss about the suspending agent like acacia uh, in this uh, the uh, role of the acacia the acacia is a dried extrudates from acacia uh, snegal which occurs as a round ovoid colorless or white powder so it is often used as suspending agent so it is uh, uh, not a good suspending agent but it is only you used because of its protective colloidal property so of resinous material that precipitate on addition of the water also that acacia it is not not very effectively for dense acacia of enzymatic activity and it contain oxidized enzyme which may deteriorate is rarely used externally 
so next uh, example is the tragegan so it really occurs as a thin white or yellowish white ribbon like flakes and it form viscous aqueous solution and its thixotropic uh, and pseudo plastic uh, properties make it better thickening agent than acacia and can be used ex externally and internally and also it is stable over ph4 to 7.5 and next example is inorganic salt uh, the following uh, are the examples of inorganic salts like clay bentonite aluminum magnesium silicate and aluminum hydroorganic salts the io2 h2o so it is is the sub type of um, uh, montoro might wing up to 12 time their weight of bottomed are thixotropic in nature so act as a good suspending agent so it is used in concentration of 2 or 3% for external use such as calamine lotion so these are the example of uh, inorganic salts that is bentonite second is magnesium aluminum silicate that is v gum that this burst and swell rapidly in water absorbing the aqueous phase into crystalline both externally and internally level they are used uh they are used then combination with organic thickening agents such as xanthine gum carboxy methyl cellulose and they have high thickies rheological properties because of flocculating effect so uh, in next example is the uh, uh, next category of the so these these were occurring from natural products for example or uh, are carbomers and colloidal silicon dioxide and uh, the carbomelin so this material is totally copolymer of acrylic acid and allyl 0.5% for external preparations when dispensed in water it in water form acidic low viscous uh, low viscous solution when adjusted to ph between 6 to 11 become highly viscous and the next example is the colloidal silicon dioxide also called as aerosols so when dispersed in water they form a three dimensional network it is used up to concentration of 4% for external use or is obtained powder because of fine particle it form cake which cannot be easily redispersible so this are this is uh, these are the some examples of various suspending agent used to make the suspension and used to make this stable suspension so everybody knows about these examples and their properties so they are uh, directly used in the given formulation or in the final formulation next category is our emulsifying agent so these emulsifying agents is used to make the emulsion addition of these emulsifying agent these agents have both a hydrophilic and lipophilic part in their chemical structure all emulsifying agents get absorbed onto the oil water into dispersed droplets in addition to the uh, to this protective barrier 
emulsifiers, stabilizers, the emulsions by reducing the interfacial tension of the these emulsifying agents. Emulsion. Number of the various examples or number of the various ingredients used to make the uh, emulsion or uh, by using these emulsifying agent. So if we uh, concerned about the classification part of these emulsifying agent, so emulsifying agents can be classified according to their two mechanism or according to their two category that is chemical structure or mechanism of action. So in case of chemical structure, it is divided into four categories that is similarly dispersed agents and auxiliary agents. In case of mechanism of action, that is monomolecular, multimolecular and solid particle films. So if we uh, discuss these emulsifying agent or we, we are discussing the mechanism of action of these emulsicular film, what is the role of this monomolecular film? This is to reduce the interfacial tension while droplets are surrounded by a coherent monolayer of the surfactant. The emulsifier is ionized the presence of strong charge increasing stability. Adsorb at oil water interface to form. So multi-molecular finely divided solid particles. These are the absorbed at interface uh, interface between two immiscible liquid phase to form a particulate film. If we concern our uh, discuss advance to uh, to account for the uh, way of uh, way or means by which the emulsion is stabilized by the emulsifier. So at the present time, no theory has been postulated to all emulsions. So electrically, electrical double layer theory, phase volume theory, hydration theory of emulsion, oriented wedge theory. So in case of electrical, so as shown in this figure, you can, everybody knows about how the emulsion is formed. So in this uh, uh, figure, the oil, uh, oil globules in a pure oil and pure water emulsion carry a negatively charged. Everybody shows in this figure, the oil globules in pure oil and pure water emulsion carries a negatively charged the water ionize so that both hydrogen and hydro hydroxyl ion are present the adsorption of the OH ion so these absorbed hydroxyl ion ions form a layer around the oil globules and a layer in the liquid outside the layer of negative ions. So these two layers of oppositely charged ions are known as Helmet holds double layer. They are not confined to emulsion but accompany all boundary, boundary phenomena. So the electric charge is a factor in the emulsion, even those stabilized with emulsifying agent. Everybody shown in this figure 
the negatively charged molecules and positively charged molecules are interact together and make these negatively charged chamber or electric double layer is formed and the second is the small diameter are packed as closely as possible one sphere volume the sphere occupy about 74% of the total volume thus is retain or remain rigid it is possible to disperse 74 parts of the dispersed phase in the continuous phase but if the dispersed phase is increased to more than 74 part of the so, so this is called as phase volume theory however the dispersed phase does not remain rigid in shape but the drops flatten out where they come particle the same so that if possible for the dispersed possible for the dispersed phase to emulsion next the theory is the hydration theory of emulsion in case of hydration theory of emulsion the hydrates make the best emulsifiers fischer state the emulsifying agent by which a permanent emulsion is obtained inverse in, inversely proved proves to be a hydrophilic colloid when water and oil emulsions are con concerned are uh, concerned put another way only into the colloidal so fisher and hawker have a have found be a good emulsion and last theory is the oriented wedge theory in case of oriented wedge theory this theory deals with the formation of monomolecular layer of the emulsifying agent carved around the droplets of the internal phase of the emulsion for example in a system containing two immiscible liquids emulsifying agent would be preferably um, solved into that phase hence an emulsifying agent having a greater hydrophilic characteristic in case of sodium oleate is dispersed in water and not oil so it form a film which aids to film to curve so that it so sodium oleate and wedge theory so these are the uh, in the emulsifying agents how emulsifying agents agents act to make the stable emulsion so uh, next is the surface tension theory so in case of, of surface tension theory how surface tension theory work so a drop of the liquid form a spherical shape when two drops come together to form a bigger drop tension at air liquid interface so surface tension force that have to be applied partial partial to the surface of the liquid to
काउंटर बैलेंस एग्जैक्टली द इंटरनल इनवर्ड फोर्स दैट एंड टू पुल द मॉलिक्यूलर मॉलिक्यूल्स टुगेदर when these are two immiscible liquids it is called as interfacial tension so next and last category of today's presentation is the surfactant we discuss about the emulsifying agent you will also discuss about various theories example how they are work and in case of suspending agent how in the uh, using uh, to make the uh, uh, formulation good or stable formulation so uh, also we are using number of the surfactants it's like uh, surfactants are termed as surface active agents and also called as wetting agent or emulsifying agent or suspending agent depending upon its properties and its use okay so suspending agent and emulsifying agents so also called as uh, also called as surfactant because we are using in surfactant for, for both suspending and emulsifying agent. so surface active agents are substances which are low concentration absorb on to the surface or interface of the system and alter the surface or in, uh, interfacial free energy molecule have either one tail or two and the tail of most surfactants are very similar consisting of a hydrocarbon chain which can be branched linear or aromatic case of classification of the surfactant the surfactant can be classified based on the charge group present on their head a non ionic surfactant do not have do not have any charge group over their over their head or over net charge if the charge is negative the, the surfactant is more, more specifically called anionic if a surfactant containing a head with two oppositely charged group it is termed as deuterine and it is classified into other four categories that is anionic surfactant ionic surfactant so uh, we will discuss about all the different types of the surfactants one by one Uh, with their examples first is anionic surfactant in solution the head is negatively charged these surfactants are most widely used the type of surfactant excellent cleaning property these surfactants are particularly effective at oil cleaning and oil or clay suspensions the most commonly used anionic surfactants are alkyl sulfate alkyl ethoxate ethoxylate sulfate and soaps and most of of the anionic surfactants are carboxylate sulfate and sulfonates ion everybody write down the examples 
because of these surfactants anionic surfactants next is the cationic surfactant so in the solution the cationic surfactants are quaternary ammonium compound and they are mostly used for the, their disinfectant and preservative properties as they have good bacterial bactericidal property and work so the main role of the cationic surfactant uh, for those formulations uh, which are used to clean the wound or which are minimum amount of dodecents are benzyl conium chloride cetyl pyridium chloride next part is the mild making them particularly suited for use in personal care the anionic thing upon the acidity or ph of the water different sign where but the source of the negatively charged may vary that is carboxylate sulfate and sulfonates these surfactants have excellent dermatological property they are frequently used in shampoos and other cosmetic products and also in the hand dishwashing liquids because of their high foaming property so most of the important surfactant and mostly used surfactant are that is amphotoxins those surfactants do not have an electrical charge or charge which make them resistance to the water hardness deactivation the, the high polyoxythyl and polyoxyphenylene or poly all derivatives or fatty alcohol they are excellent they are excellent greasy oil removing and emulsifiers esters polyoxyethylene esters and polyxomers esters and sorbitol derivatives other example of this interaction is the state of drug dissolution as a consequence of drug solubilization within micelles the effect of surfactant on the dissolution of the solid is complex in addition to the effect on the available surface surface area surfactant in concentration above the cmc can increase drug solubility and hence the effective concentration gradient this is also very very important in case of solid doses form we are using these surfactants and in case of uh, uh, gelatin capsule and tablet wetting agents surfactants are used in capsules and tablet formulations as wetting agent to aid dissolution lubricants anti adherents and glidants the primarily function of the tablet lubricants is to reduce the friction arising at the interface of the tablet and the dye wall during compre compression and ejection so lubrication also possess anti adherent prevention of sticking and sticking to the punch and to the lesser extent of to the dye wall and glidant to improve the flow characteristics of the powder or granulates characteristics and used in the processing of the hard gelatin capsules the magnesium stearate is used extensively as a lubricant in tablet manufacturing it is an example of a boundary lubricant that is the polar region of the molecule adhere to the metal surface of the dye wall in the tablet manufacturing in case of suppositories several non ionic surfactants active material having have been developed as suppository vehicles 
many of these bases known as water miscible bases can be used for the form formulation of both water soluble and oil soluble drugs the surfactants most commonly used as the polyethylene sorbitan fatty acid esters the polyethylene spirit and the sorbitan fatty acid esters are used as a surfactant like twin and spans mostly the stainless steel mold and are lubricated priorly to dipping into the gelatin solution and sodium lauryl sulfate is added to reduce the surface tension of the mix and cause the mold pin to wet more uniformly surface active agents are widely used in combination with other suppository bases the inclusion of these agent in the form formulation may improve the wetting and water absorbing properties of the suppositories in addition emulsifying surfactants have been have to kept insoluble sur- substance suspended in the fatty suppositories the inclusion of the what inclusion of the surfactants in the suppository formulation may enhance the rectal absorption of the drug so these are the uh, solid dose form and next we concern about liquid system or liquid dose form so formulation of the solutions so surfactant used in the formulation of the solution as a solubilizing agent <clears throat> which increase the drug solubility it include sorbitan monoleate and peg it is used in range 0.05 to 0.5% to avoid toxicity formulations of the suspension that is dispersant suspens surfactants may be used in the formulation of the suspension to aid dispersion of the solid particle into the liquid this is particularly important in the powder is not readily wet by the liquid volume is or a liquid vehicle surfactant can reduce the interfacial tension between the solid particle and the liquid vehicles the advancing contract angle is reduced and wetting of the solid particle per mode such as system is said to be deflocculated the inclusion of the surface active agent to improve powder wettability can often improve the bioavailability of the formulation in case of semi solid formulations or semi solid system surfactants are major constituents of the pharmaceutical cosmetics and food semi solid formulations may of which are emulsions either oil in water or water in oil they are including for their stabilizing wetting solubilizing detergents and penetrating enhancing property so in case of emulsion formulation the water in oil emulsion traditionally contains surfactants of natural origin such as cholesterol wool fat wool alcohol linoleic divalent salt of fatty acids calcium oleate and other synthetic agents of low hydrophilic lipophilic balance such as pan the water in soluble surfactants may be anionic that is sodium lauryl sulfate ketionic like citrimide and non ionic like cetro macrogols and twins mixed emulsifiers control the consi- consistency of the cream by forming a viscoelastic network throughout the continuous phase of the emulsion so the network result for the interfacial of the interfacial of the mixture emulsifier with the water forming a liquid crystalline phase in case of formulation of the ointment ointments are semi solid preparations meant for external application to the skin of mucous membrane so they usually contain medicaments of the medic- medicaments is in dissolved suspended or emulsified in the ointment bases some time in the ointment preparation surfactants are useful for the easy removal from the skin by washing with water and also for the consist uh, consistently by reducing the surface tension
surfactants are also used in the formulation of cold cream cleaning cream vanishing cream shaving cream and any other medias so in case of formulation of shampoos shampoos is a hair hair care product used for the removal of the oil dirt skin particles dandruff environment pollutants and other contaminants particles that gradually build up the hair the goal is to remove the unwanted build up without stripping out to so much as to easy hair unmanageable shampoo with leather with the water is a surfactant which while cleaning the hair and scalp can remove their natural oil which lubricate the hair shaft last is the formulation of aerosols so in case of formulation of aerosol surfactants are found in both solutions and suspension uh, suspension formulation of metered dose inhalers the most common surfactants found in the preserved uh, pressurized aerosol preparations including sorbitol that is span 85 oleic acid and lecithin these agents are non volatile liquids which dissolve in the propellant blend so these functions in the formulation is providing lubricant for the metered wall and in the case of suspend suspension formulation to maintain the dispersed nature of the drug okay thanks a lot so any student having any question so you can please ask